Hey, and welcome to the Dr. Gratitude official channel. I'm so grateful you have made it here. And if it's your first time on this channel, hello and welcome. Please take the time to like and subscribe. My mission and my goal is to have an attitude of gratitude. And I want to spread that worldwide so people can have life satisfaction, purpose, meaningful driven world, love, hope, faith, and of course, gratitude, because that's what we're here for. I'm taking people on a massive journey through these episodes and taking people from day one to day 365 days of thankfulness to transform your world. Each episode, I take people on a daily challenge. I also talk about one of the days that is published in my beautiful journal. And then I also talk about the third thing in our episode is a personal diary entry, which I write in every single day. I want you to see how I cultivate gratitude and how this has become a daily practice now for the last three years. I have not missed a day. The first year was a little bit challenging, the second year getting a little bit easier and the third year really smashing it out of the park. So let's get into the first part of this episode, which is your daily challenge today. I was having a look at something and I forgot all about this. Now I want you to get a jar of any kind. You can get a special jar, something that's really beautiful shape. You can get a jam jar that has been emptied. Obviously I want a clean empty jar, okay guys? A clean empty jar. Now it's up to you if you wanna laminate or decorate or put the words of gratitude or grateful jar on this jar and make it beautiful. This jar is going to be something that you can write little notes of gratitude or your family can write what they're grateful for. And I want you to keep it in a space of your home where everybody can put their daily gratitudes in every single day or once a week. It depends on how much you wanna write on a post-it note or a little piece of paper and chuck it in there. Now, make sure that you fold up those pieces of paper after you've written that gratitude, put it in the jar, close the lid. And what is really great and really amazing is you can do this all through the year until the jar is really, really full. And you can choose to either do it on Christmas day or on New Year's Eve or on New Year's Day and pull out all those messages and then read it out to everybody. What's beautiful about this practice and having a gratitude jar is being reminded of all the amazing things that have happened for the year. So your challenge today is to get that gratitude jar up and running in your household. Whether you're the daughter, whether you're the son, whether you're the mother, whether you're the father, whether you have flatmates and friends living with you, get that grateful jar out and start doing words of affirmation and beautiful words of gratitude. It will increase your happiness tenfold. Now we are into my favorite part, the part that we're all here for. This is my beautiful journal. Dear God, with gratitude, 365 days of thankfulness to transform your world. We are on to day 63. I am grateful for who I am becoming. Everyone is evolving, everybody is growing and everybody is learning new and new things as each year develops. And I love who I'm becoming. I know one of my yearly themes was becoming and that was amazing. Thank you, God. I am grateful for all the support and involvement around the community. I am so grateful for the 19 people who came down to clean up Australia Day. It was great to be involved with a great cause. Then at the barbecue, we've got your foundation. I went there as well. And I'm grateful for dad helping me with signs too. Here we go. And that was so great. Australia Day, I had heaps of families, heaps of educators come down to Point Vernon in Harvey Bay, Queensland. And it was such a beautiful experience keeping our beautiful environment here in our beautiful small regional town clean, neat, tidy. And we found some really interesting things. So check out this video.
So guys, this brings us to the end of another episode. <gasps> yes, I'm a bit sad that it's all ending. Oh, I want to say thank you for getting this far in the video and listening to the end. If you haven't taken the time to like and subscribe, please do so now. And before I go out, remember guys, gratitude is the best attitude. Peace out.